Hi, Doug DeHaven here with DJD Laboratories. In the lab for review today is the new Air Zenith OB2 compressor. Today I'm going to walk you through every aspect that makes this compressor so much better than its predecessor, the OB1 compressor. Air Zenith went back to the drawing board on this one. Every single aspect and design has been thoroughly thought out and re-engineered for better durability, strength, and longevity. So I'm going to walk through each part and tear it down piece by piece. And I'm going to show you what makes this compressor so much better. Now to tear down an Air Zenith compressor, you're going to need a few basic hand tools. You need an Allen wrench, which can be a T-handle or a right angle. You're going to need a number two Phillips screwdriver, as well as the Air Zenith wrench. This comes with, included with the rebuild kit. With these few basic hand tools, you can fully tear down the compressor. So first, I'm going to start up with the Phillips screwdriver and remove the fan off the head of the compressor. When the screws removed, I can now remove the fan. Now this fan is similar to the one on the OB-1 compressor with one major design change. This fan is now certified waterproof. It has been sealed and certified so it can run on the compressor in the rain or out in the elements. So you don't have to worry about going bad on you. Also the fan now has a silicone fireproof heat wrap as well as a connector on the back of the compressor. So in the event something falls into the fan and does manage to break it, you can replace it easily in the vehicle without a soldering iron. This is big. Next up I'm going to use the Air Zenith wrench to remove the leader hose. The leader hose has also been redesigned. It is now almost twice the size of the original leader hose. It is a PTFE lined stainless steel braided leader hose. It comes with the included fitting. It allows you to adapt to half inch NPT to connect most eight port tanks in the market. It is a tapered seat fitting, which means there's no need for a swivel. Once you get the compressor to wherever you need it, you lock down the jam nut, the hose is now locked in place. Next up, I'm going to use again the included wrench to remove the jam nut on the filter. This filter has been totally redesigned by Air Zenith. It is now all plastic, where the original one was metal. This open element filter on the original OB-1 allowed moisture into the compressor. The new design has a complex air passage, which helps strip the moisture from the air as it enters the compressor. The included jam nut on the filter now allows you to lock it to the compressor so it won't vibrate off while running. And also for an Air Zenith first, you can now get a relocation kit for the filter. It comes with the line and the fittings. Everything you need to relocate the filter away from dirt, moisture, and grit that could be in the environment where the compressor is mounted. Now the filter itself has reverse thread and is fully cleanable and replaceable. So you can service it without ever having to replace the entire filter itself. Next up, I'm going to move on to the head. I'll use a T-handle for here, but you can again use a right-angle Allen wrench. The head of the compressor has been beefed up. It's almost twice the weight of the original OB-1. This helps get a lot more heat out of the compressor than it did before. All the hardware is grade hardware with lock and out lock washers. The head itself has a o-ring seal to prevent any moisture or dirt from getting into the compressor. Now I mentioned earlier that they mounted the filter on the head of the compressor. This is done for a couple of reasons. Originally it was mounted on the crankcase. Any dirt or moisture or grit will get sucked into the crankcase body getting into the piston and bearings which I'll show you in a moment. By putting it in the head of the compressor the air comes in the head, goes down through the valves and goes right back out, back out of the head. This keeps any dirt or moisture out of the body of the compressor and thus allowing it to last a lot longer than it originally could have. The check valve is now located on the head of the compressor. This is unique for the fact it speeds up the compressor performance. This is also a 100% designed Air Zenith part. Use the included wrench, you can take apart the check valve and clean it. So you never have to worry about a, a sticky or stuck check valve ever again. Check valve comes apart in three parts. You have the brass check with a stainless spring, the valve body, as well as a rubber seat for the valve. The valve plate design is totally different on the new OB2. This is designed a lot like your industrial compressors, Ingersoll Rand and so forth. The valves themselves are encased between two metal plates. These two metal plates act two purposes. One, they keep the valves from overextending. This prevents them from getting damage from overstress or if you run it too hard. Also, the center of the valves are combined with a single piece of metal which sinks the heat out through the valve blocks 
up into the head and allowing the heat to get away. This prevents the valves from warp tempering and getting brittle as the compressor gets older. To replace the valves, you no longer need any special tools. The valves themselves simply pop out and can be swapped out on the road or if you are stranded somewhere. So you always have the peace of mind that you never need some special tool to work on this compressor. The cylinder wall for OB2 has also been beefed up. It's now larger than the OB1, as well as with the same hard anodized coating that the original one had. Both O-ring seals and reversible as needed. The piston's gone through a major change as well. Being that the air no longer comes in from the crankcase, there's no need for a valve on the piston anymore. So the piston ring has actually been beefed up as well. With the included tool, you can rebuild the piston while in the vehicle. So I'll pop that on here and I'll loosen this up. And now remove the retainer ring and I can now swap out the piston ring. Very easy to rebuild and you're never stuck anywhere you need to be. There's also now an included O-ring on the bottom of the piston ring which helps seal it and also increase its performance. Next we're going to go into the crankcase and show you what makes this thing really tick. The crankcase has also been redesigned. It is now one piece design with only two seal surfaces. With only two, this prevents one less chance of moisture and grit from getting into the crankcase. The body itself now has fins designed into it to help cool the body of the compressor as well as get some of the heat away from the head of the compressor as well. The piston has also been redesigned. As you can see here, there are fins that now fully encompass the head of the piston to prevent any off angle torquing or bending of the piston. Being that this motor has higher torque than the original compressor, everything had to be beefed up. The bearing is bigger, the motor shaft is bigger, and so on. The piston has also been redesigned for easy serviceability. With one screw, I can remove the entire piston assembly to go work on it. The piston ring retainer now has three points of contact, where the original only had two. The bearing itself can easily be removed by removing the three Allen bolts plus the center one and can be swapped out in the field as needed. The compressor body is where the secret to Airzine's performance truly lies, for they managed to fit a three-quarter horsepower high-performance DC motor into this small package, all while maintaining a maximum 35 amp draw under load. So first, let's tear it apart. The front of the compressor body is machined out with solid block of aluminum. This piece also has reinforcing ribs for extra strength needed for the high torque of this new motor. Also, the feet have been beefed up, again, almost twice as thick as the original, to handle the higher performance of the new motor. Nice new feature of the new Air Zenith OB2 is you remove these two bolts, you can now relocate the feet anywhere around the compressor body. This makes mounting much more versatile and easier for the end user. Next, we remove the body of the compressor. This has also been beefed up. The body of the motor is now almost one, in, one quarter inch thick with high performance ceramic magnets that almost extend the entire length of the compressor body. Now this motor is a carbon brush motor. It has high speed precision ball bearings, both front and rear, all weather sealed, as well as a first for Air Zenith, and that is a built-in thermal switch into the body of the compressor. This allows the compressor to shut down the event of an over temperature, preventing damage to both the motor and the piston ring. Now, what makes this different than most other compressors is the thermal switch controls an external relay. That means there's nothing inside this compressor that can go bad or needs to be replaced. This brings me to the wiring. The back of the compressor, the wiring, has been separated into two distinct wires. They are now all heat shrunk as well as fireproof wrapped. The ground wire is crimped on and heat shrunk ready for grounding. To wire the compressor, you run this wire to your pressure switch and this to your battery and you're done. That's it. Air Zenith fully wires the compressors and ships them ready to install. Now in the event if you ever have a problem with the relay, which is highly unlikely being that it is an Air Zenith design 80 amp 100% duty relay it is easily swapped out with the included socket that comes with the compressor. And like I mentioned before, the thermal switch will shut the relay off. How is this done? The ground for the relay runs through the compressor. So in the event that the thermal switch shuts it off, the ground's removed, shutting off the compressor, but keeping your system active. Now that I've walked you through every aspect of the OB2 compressor, you can now see what makes it so much better than its predecessor, the OB1 compressor. So much better, in fact, Air Zenith now backs this compressor with an industry-leading two-year manufacturer warranty. I'm Doug DeHaven with DJD Labs. Thanks for watching.